ما از قبل هم اعلام کرده بودیم که We have already declared that our intention is to do nuclear research It has nothing to do with enrichment You know the issue of enrichment is for the production of nuclear fuel Research is, is a different issue Based on Article 3 of the IAEA Charter and Article 4 of the NPT, all countries can conduct nuclear research and indeed other countries must help them with this research. Therefore, it is a right for every country that is a member of the agency. And we have previously declared that the issue of research is totally separate from enrichment meant for fuel production. And we think that any concerns regarding Iran diverting nuclear fuel is about enrichment, not research. Because research happens at all universities. is everywhere. We cannot deprive our nation's scientists of the research. And this is very strange. I saw yesterday that an American official had said that Iran does not even have the right to research. This is harmful for America's image, because then they pit themselves against other countries' scientists, and this is not right. The IAEA says that the seals that were lifted involve centrifuges and UF-6. Could that mean that you want to try enrichment on a pilot program, a lab level? This was explained before in a letter we had given to the IAEA. Research is being done on a small scale, and this has nothing to do with enrichment. Nuclear research does not take place in a vacuum. It is done in centrifuges, but for producing nuclear fuel, you have to have at least about 60,000 centrifuges working. On a lab scale or small scale, no one does enriching for producing nuclear weapons or for nuclear fuel. It's only for research. And from the beginning we said that if we use centrifuges, it would be under the supervision of the IAEA. Right now the agency inspectors are there, their cameras are there, these projects are happening under their supervision. There is nothing secret about it. And I want to add that I think the propaganda they're making now is very strange. If anyone wants to go towards making weapons, they're not going to go about it this way. Because under the supervision and cameras of the IAEA, no one is going to produce weapons. Those countries that developed weapons were neither members of the IAEA nor NPT. We are both members of the agency and signatories to the NPT, and their inspectors are there, and under their supervision, we're beginning our research, and this research is on a small scale. You and your colleagues were meant to meet with the Director General of the IAEA last week, and you did not go to that meeting. There seems to be now not a very good relationship between Iran and the IAEA. How are you going to fix that relationship? I want to tell you that the issue of Iran's cooperation with the IAEA is very serious. We recognize the agency as a legitimate international body. We consider the NPT a good covenant if it is implemented properly. If all countries enforce its two main points, nuclear disarmament, to do it, not just talk about it, and also to help the countries with no nuclear capability so they can gain peaceful nuclear technology. Then the NPT could be an extremely positive covenant. In this period, we have good relations with the IAEA and El Baradei. We have resolved any ambiguities he had. Our country has accepted 1,400 man-hours of agency inspections. This is no small gesture. It's obvious that we have good relations. A lot of ambiguities have been clarified, and I declare that our cooperation with the agency will continue. And we also welcome our negotiations with Europe and Russia with the objective of allaying their concerns regarding diverting nuclear material. Our negotiations with Europe and Russia are completely serious, and we want to reach agreement with them. How are you going to fix these relationships with these countries who are trying to have a dialogue with you and who believe that you have crossed a line unnecessarily? We should not create imaginary lines for ourselves. Negotiations between Iran and Europe had one important objective, which was to ensure there would be no diversion of our enrichment activities. And we are committed to this. And we believe...